Well, what they're clearly both going to do is try and follow Christy Furness. Has been invited to lead them and does on bowl run. Uh, no, I'm before I get all the, the way. Yeah. <laughs> Pops over that. Tip of pin on the inside and according to Dan on the near side of the game. Going to need a blue in the red. Fast as they go, though. So Bob Ransom leading the round in the first of these left-handed turns here. We've gone up quite, 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 quite a good gallop, so it's better than the one or two of the earlier races. Yeah. And they swing back again, then. Go up yeah. past the car building, building, on towards fence number two. Bob Ransom then in front, driven pin, in second place. So this time it's Laura Mason in the... Green the grey, and then in the blue and the red for Eden Eden with, according to Dan, on the come to French 2, and a much faster jump by Chip and Pin than that put in by Bold Ransom, according to Dan, over in third, as they go to French 3, the third fence is the open ditch, Bold Ransom goes back in front coming into it, and jumps it well, jumps it much quicker than the play one. According to Dan, wasn't entirely tidy at him in third, but safe enough. On they come to the fourth. Hey, what the what the Ball runs from Yeah, so I like that. Okay, it's not quite as fast through the air as Chip and Finn. And then according to Dan in third, as they go up the hill for the first time. They were gone after a will. Yeah, To fence number five. Coming in to jump it, Bold Ransom, Chip and Pin, according to Dan, that is still the order. So they're going on then to turn left handed before coming back down to fence number six. And as they come to it, it is still Bold Ransom, by a leg from Chip and Pin. His rider has a long look round over his shoulder to see. Fiona Eden's very much still there, the veteran of the three, with according to Dan. So, they've just got a very reasonable gallop here, and coming back through the three mile start, and coming on then towards the next, they jump fence number seven, Bowl Ransom in front. Different pin, very good in second, according to Dan though, he isn't jumping quite as well as the others, got him very deep for that, in the third place. One on main race, I think, but... Yeah, well, the main one's struggling against these two rather more experienced rivals for all to start, anyway. So, they're about to go left-handed once more. And on towards uh, fence number eight. Paul Ransom, Christy Furness. His first winner this season, and going a good pace here. Chip and Pin and Laura Mason. According to Dan and Fiona Needham, they jump fence eight. They all jump that really well. So once they go to the ditch, Paul Ransom galloping along. Fence going a little bit further ahead, jump the ditch well. Jump and pin second. Going to Dan, just finding it, as I've said, that bit harder than the two more experienced horses in third place. On the short run towards the next, uh, they all jump well again. Chip and Pin keeping closer tabs now on Bold Ransom, but about four clear of according to Dan as they go to the highest part of the course once again. And they'll run downhill to fence 11, which they're jumping now, where Chip and Pin was very good. And they're about to go left-handed once more and come back then to the next, to fence number 12. Quite wide the front two there on that bend. One or two have been today. And the front two are still bold wraps of a length in front of Chip and Pin. And according to Dan in third, this is virtually identical positions to how they were on the first circuit. This time they're running down to fence number 13. Old Ransom, Christy Furness from Chip and Pin and Laura Mason and according to Dan and Fiona Needham. I'll smack down the neck there for Old Ransom. He's really making him keep up to his work today, Christy Furness. So, around they go. For the final time today, 
Chip and Fame coming up on the inside of Bold Ransom, who was just perhaps a little bit wider than perhaps he needed to have done on the bend. But he's going to regain the lead, it looks like, as they go on towards the next to place number 14. Bold Ransom, Chip and Fame, and according to Dan, right with them now. So, all three here going pretty well as they come on towards the next, coming to fence 14. Well, Ransom just in front, but only just as Chip and Finn have come that fast, according to Dan in third. Will his jumping keep him in with a chance? Because Jenna Lee can certainly trying her best to keep him there as they go on towards the ditch. Bold Ransom still just has the call, but Chip and Finn again was probably faster at the fence. And then, according to Dan in third. So they race on towards the next. He's playing fence four out. And Chip and Finn is just about level here with Paul Ransom and may have touched down just ahead for the first time. Indeed, does lead up the hill. According to Dan, he's far from done with. And might shorten each other's Paul Ransom for second. Indeed, I think has gone into second. But they're racing down towards the third fence from the finish, coming to fence number 17. And it's Chip and Finn, another great leap as on the previous circuit. And it's clear. And according to Dan, stumble on landing. And Fiona Needham sat very well there and kept the horse up and uh, back in third is Paul Ransom but Chip and Pin Laura Mason looks like she could have put this one to bed has a very good lead as she comes down towards the second last made a decisive move jumps that hit the top of it though according to Dan over in second but is a long way back must be eight ten lengths behind now and Paul Ransom has got tired I think in third Chip and Pin comes sailing away down the hill Laura's having another look round still has one fence left to jump according to Dan still running on determinedly doggedly for Fiona Needham then Bob Ransom and third but here's Chip and Pin coming towards the last this is the favourite at the final fence in the last race of the day and jumps it well and gets away from it well and Laura Mason and Chip and Pin are going to win the finale here in great style from in second place according to Dan and Bob Ransom who's run well but his last of three to finish